Welcome to KP Classes. In today's video, we'll be discussing about IIT JAM qualification and which are the IITs you will be able to get admission through your IIT JAM geology paper qualification. So over here you can see the different IITs, uh, IIT Bhuvaneshwar, IIT Bombay, IIT Ayasam Dhanbad, IIT Roorkee and IIT Kharagpur. These are the five different IITs. You will be able to get admission through your JAM geology paper. And here we will be having a detailed analysis or detailed explanation regarding the institute wise eligibility, academic programs provided by them, category wise seat available, placement and other college information and at last about the preference list. So let's have an idea about their IITs and the programs they provide, eligibilities and at last the preference list you have to give during the application of JAM uh, admission. KP classes dedicated to excellence. When it comes to the institute wise eligibility, we will be able to understand the details by looking at the IIT JAM website. So here in the IIT JAM website uh, at the portal of admissions, you just check on the minimum education qualification and provide geology as the subject. These in all the IITs that I have mentioned will be provided and the essential degree required is also mentioned over here. So for getting an admission in IIT Bombay, uh, which uh, the course program is MSc in Applied Geology will be coming to that. So here you can see that geology of for three years is required along with that two subject among the among the mathematics physics chemistry and biological sciences among these four two subjects are required here there should uh, any two subjects among mathematics physics chemistry and biological sciences required during your graduation okay so that's it's not a compulsory but any of these four subjects when you look into Bhuvaneshwar for MSc PhD in Geology, you require Geology 3 year graduation and associated with that any two subjects among Mathematics, Physics and Chemistry is mandatory. Whereas for Atmospheric Science MSc PhD joined uh, program, we required Mathematics and Physics with any one of the subjects among Chemistry, Computer Science, Computer Application, Geology and Statistics. Moving on to the next IIT, IIT ISM Dhanbad, BSc degree of with geology is a must and along with that mathematics is important and mathematics as one subject along with that any one subject out of physics and chemistry. So for getting into IIT ISM Dhanbad, mathematics is compulsory. Okay, so you, you, I hope you understood. In the Bhuvaneshwar and Bombay, any from these four, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, any two subjects from these four. But for ISM, Mathematics is there, should be there in your graduation and along with that, any one subject out of Physics and Chemistry. When you look into Kharagpur, the uh, the BSc uh, Geology subjects, uh, should be, Geology should be there for six semesters here, three years and associated with that uh, either two physics subjects and two mathematics subjects or two physics and two chemistry or two chemistry plus two mathematics subjects. So, maths is not compulsory. There are most of the graduate uh, institutes, uh, they may not have uh, maths uh, uh, associated with your BSc Geology uh, course. So, even if there is no maths, if you have chemistry and physics then then also you will be able to get admission in IIT Kharagpur. Now and that's for uh, IIT Kharagpur MSc PhD in Geology. Whereas for IIT Kharagpur MSc PhD in Geophysics uh, we required a BSc degree together with either of the following uh, su minimum subject like you can either have Geology as a domain or uh, Physics as a uh, your major domain and if it is Geology uh, there should be two physics subjects and two mathematics subjects. Uh, physics subject is your domain, then three, uh, two mathematics subjects should be there. So, mathematics is compulsory to get into joint MSc PhD in geophysics at IIT Kharagpur. So, I hope it is clear. Now, when it comes to IIT Roorkee, obviously geology is required and among, for, after geology, Two subjects among mathematics, physics, chemistry and biology science. So, maths is not a compulsory. If maths is there, then it's fine. 
maths, physics, chemistry and biology, any of these four, uh, two subject is mandatory, no restriction for engineering degree. So, this is about the eligibility criteria or the minimum el uh, eligibility required a subject in bachelor's degree along with the minimum duration is what a uh, what is provided over here. So, this is minimum duration. Okay, geology 3 years means that is the minimum duration. So, max is compulsory for uh, IIT, ISM, Dunbar and also for getting into geophysics max is compulsory. Whereas, in IIT, Bombay and other the, these max, physics, chemistry, biology among these any two subjects are required. Okay. So, I hope this eligibility part is clear. Moving on to the next uh, in our slide is about the academic programs for different IITs they provide different academic programs. In IIT Bombay there is MSc in Applied Geology, MSc in Applied Geology is a two year course whereas MSc Tech in Applied Geology which is a program provided by IIT ISM Dunbar and this particular program is of three years. So, those who go going to IIT Bombay for MSc in Applied Geology, they will be completing their master's degree in two years. Whereas, th those who are going to ISM will be, will be able to complete their master's by three years. So, it is an MSc Tech in Applied Geology you will be getting. When it comes to uh, Kharagpur or Bhuvaneshwar, there is M joint MSc PhD in Geology. So, in <coughs> different institute the rules are different in Kharagpur and all you will be able to uh, leave or exit the, the course after completing your master's degree. So, after the first two years after completing the master's course it is your wish whether you need to continue pursue your PhD over there or you, you need an exit. So, that it is your call. So, here also we can say that join MSc PhD in geology master's degree in geology will be only for two years not like ISM that but three year course. Uh, uh, in IIT Bhuvaneshwar for uh, jam geology candidates can also apply for uh, MSc PhD in atmospheric and ocean sciences. This course you can opt uh, if you have a rank uh, much higher like comparing for the rank required in IIT Bombay, ISM Dhanbad, they are correct for your closing, your rank is way, uh, the value is way lower. In that case, you can go for atmospheric science, uh, atmospheric and oceanic sciences. The closing rank is actually uh, 600, is, is something 500. You can, you can check the uh, previous video we have uh, uploaded in our uh, KP Gate class. YouTube channel where I have explained the entire institutes and the closing rank of last 2-3 years. So, there you will get an idea about the closing rank and uh, according to your, your rank whether you should be able to apply or not. Okay, anyway coming forward, the joint PSC MH, MSc PhD in Geophysics. There are Geophysics in uh, uh, IIT Bombay or uh, Roorkee or in uh, ISM that but there are Geophysics courses but you will not be able to apply that, you will not be able to get admission through your JAM Geology qualification. But in only one institute you will be able to get admission for the Geophysics if you want to get into, uh, you, if you uh, want a geophysics master's degree, you are fond of geophysics, then you can opt this institute over here, IIT Kharagpur, uh, for through your JAM geology qualification. So, again, I will go through once more. In IIT Bhuvaneshwar, there are two courses they provide for you through JAM geology qualification that is MSc PhD in Geology and MSc PhD in Atmosphere and Ocean Sciences. Moving on, IIT Bombay is MSc in Applied Geology. In IIT Roorkee also the course is MSc in Applied Geology. Whereas in Kharagpur, a joint MSc PhD in Geology and Geophysics is provided. In ISM, it is MSc Tech in Applied Geology. So, I hope you are clear with the dif different uh, programs offered by different institutes and it is your wish whether you need an uh, MSc in Applied Geology or whether you need to join an MSc PhD uh, joint MSc PhD course or an MSc Tech, 3 year MSc Tech is what you require. It is your, upon your call whether you need to join that institute or not. So, think wisely before making the preference list. 
Now, when it comes to the category by seat available, for different institutes, the number of seats are entirely different. For ISM, the there are total of 60, 62 seats available. Whereas in IIT Bombay, the number of seats are very low. So, if you have a category, uh, you are on, uh, on open category, uh, uh, there is a general PWD, EWS, EWS, PWD, OBC, OBC, PWD, SC, ST, etc. categories are there. You can look into your rank and which uh, the closing rank of uh, last uh, year's closing rank and then from that you will get an idea whether you will be able to get into this particular institute. When you look into IIT Bombay, let's start from IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay has a total of 38 uh, seats are there, total 38 seats are there in IIT Bombay and the open general category seats are of 40. So, it is a very less number, right, the number of seats are very low in IIT Bombay whereas in Dhanbad altogether there is 66 seats are there. Altogether total 66 seats for geology students and there are 26 open general category uh, seats are present, 26. Uh, when you look into the e general PWD, there is general PWD seats available in Bombay and uh, ISM. Okay, Bombay, ISM, Kharagpur, Geology, these uh, subjects, these courses have and in uh, Bhuvaneshwar also Geology have general PWD seat available. Whereas when it comes to EWS, there are two seats in Bhuvaneshwar, one for atmospheric science, two for geology. Then four uh, EWS seats in Bombay, six EWS seats in Dhanbad, four in Kharagpur, two in uh, uh, MSc Geophysics in Kharagpur, two in Roorkee. So this is a good, uh, you should, if you have a category, EWS category or if you have EWD, EWS, PWD, seats are not there for geology. Okay, so this particular, if you are coming under economically weaker section, uh, you can see that the number of seats are way higher in ISM, ISM than path. So, the chances of getting over there will be way higher. Same goes with OBC also. For OBC category, the maximum number of seats are present in ISM than path. 17, Bombay, there are 9 seats. Kharagpur, uh, Geology, there are 9 seats. And for Roorkee, there are only 5 seats. Then SCST category, if you look, look for SC category, there are 6 seats in IIT Bombay, 10 seats in ISM Dhanbad, uh, then for ST, 3 seats in Bombay and 5 seats in ISM Dhanbad. So, you have to have a good idea regarding the seat metrics like different seat allotment for geology in different IITs. So, let us see what is next in our slide. <coughs> The how to have how will you be able to understand placements and other college informations? You have to directly go into the institute's website. Uh, if you don't know the website of respective institute, it's mentioned over here. Uh, look into the IIT Jam Geology uh, IIT Jam 2024 website. Go to the admitting institutes, and here all the different institutes and their websites are provided even they, their numbers or office numbers are also provided over here just use this link uh, go into the respective institute i have already said we have five different institutes which provide us admission through jam geology qualification so one of that is ism that bus and in that let's see the in every institute they will be providing with a placement uh, uh, portal will be there Go to the placement portal and you will be able to understand the end of the last year placement list. Give me a moment. It's the website of ISM that bath. So here you can see this is the Department of Applied Geology. All the different programs provided by them is mentioned over here. And you can go to the uh, when you click over here you will be able to download the entire details, the placements and the course institute, all the details will be provided over here. So, that is more than enough for you to understand the different curriculum, like what are the different sections that are required 
and uh, the in the different uh, topics i'll be teaching and what are the uh, in every semester the topics i'm going to cover all the details will be provided and also about the placement and uh, companies uh, and different uh, the uh, amount they, they they have offered to the students everything will be mentioned in the website now moving on to the next one that is the preference list, list. so these are the five different institutes and all the programs i have already mentioned there is msc geology msc applied geology join msc phd msc tech in geology join msc phd in atmospheric science join msc phd in geophysics so uh, in all these institutes there are different different courses they provide and in IIT Bombay uh, it is MSc PhD in Applied Geology and ISM Dhanbad it is MSc Tech in Applied Geology and so this is two year course this is three year course the so number of uh, semester wise syllabuses are different topics are different etc now have to understand have to make a preference list first geographically you need to understand where, where are each institute located and uh, whether you'll be able to relocate from your ho home uh, to hometown to that particular area the other one is uh, the uh, the preference whether you need a joint uh, msc phd or the or whether you just need an msc in applied geology or msc tech whether you will be able to spend three years uh, in is of Denmark before pursuing msc tech in applied geology so you have to understand go through all these details otherwise by ranking or by placement or placement uh, we know that the ranks is are in such a way that it's iit bombay uh, iit kharagpur and there is no much difference between kharagpur and uh, uh, ism then bath and then comes the IIT Roorkee, then comes the IIT Bhubaneswar. So this is the particular preference or the, the ranking on the basis of the closing ranks of last 3-4 years or the placements and the facilities they provide. So it's, but this is up to me but up to you whatever you like whatever is the preference and obviously you are ranked whether you'll be able to get into that particular institute that's also important now here in uh, kp classes if you have not if you are not qualified with an enough rank to get into an, an iit you can join any of our courses whether it is a live section live course or a, a study material plus recorded lecture course or the online test series sections you know, if you have already qualified jam you can send us your scorecard and the details by looking at your score we can also provide you a particular scholarship for that anyway if you want to join us you can contact us in the number provided over here you can whatsapp us or just give us a call you can also follow us in our instagram youtube and telegram channels so thank you so much and all the very best if you have any doubts regarding the iit jam counseling or admission your preference list anything you can contact us uh, in this particular number you can whatsapp us uh, you can uh, while whatsapp you can ask for me my name is ruku raju you can ask for me and you can uh, connect with me if you have any doubts regarding the iit jam counseling or admission or any institute related doubts so thank you so much if you want me to make any particular video regarding geology any particular subject or uh, counseling related doubt if you want more details you can comment us down we'll be making another video upon your request too so thank you so much guys we'll uh, meet with meet uh, on uh, with uh, another uh, video thank you